Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the six types of magic players you will find at a local Magic the Gathering. Go to focus on Friday Night Magic. So number one, the kid. So the kid is a very young magic player. I use that term loosely. He is 8, 10, 12 years old. And the parents have found a way to save money instead of hiring a babysitter like normal parents. They will give the kid $5, no magic deck, and drop him off at f and They will go to a movie in the mall, come back after a nice dinner, pick the kid up. While the kid is at f and he is screaming, yelling on the floor, kicking people, dice rolling, absolutely crazy. But hey, it's not a bad business model. I'll be right back. I'm going to buy a bus and then put kids on it and then drop them off f and M's. Number two, the person who brags a lot. You cannot lose to this person because if you lose to them, they will brag and they won't forget that they beat you. They will continue to brag. Magic is a very personal game. A lot of times it is one on one. It's a duel. You're both planeswalkers. If you lose to this planeswalker, they will take it as their greatest life achievement was beating you at a game of magic. They will never let you forget. They might even video record them winning. This person has a, I wanna say they, they have a very large ego that needs to be placated by winning and they will do everything in their power to win just so they can brag and feel good about themselves. Very, very common type of player. Next, the next type of player is the player who does not talk. You offer to shake his or her hand. Nope. You offer, you say, oh, hey, the weather's nice. Nope. Hey, do you watch the football game? Nope. Do you like magic? Nope. This person will just not talk to you. They go about their business. Maybe they make eye contact, but most of the times they won't even make eye contact with you. Playing with this silent person is as fun as playing solitaire. It's no fun, and sometimes they will even put in headphones. Yes, headphones, when they're playing a game of magic. They're antisocial, not really friendly, and cannot continue a conversation beyond just saying hi. Very strange personality, but that brings us to the next person, the newbie. The newbie is someone who just began the game and they need help. Their decks are more than, the obvious way to find a newbie is to see how many cards are in their deck. If their deck has more than 60 cards, main board, it means that they are likely to be a newbie. If the deck has 120 cards, it is very, and standard at a Friday Night Magic, it is very likely they are a newbie. Now, newbies are very common. They are the bloodline of our game. We all started off as newbies, so do not be a jerk to this type of player and help them learn the game. Because honestly, if we do not do that, our community will die and we won't have anyone to play with. So a very important member. Number five, the speed. The speed is someone who pretty much assumes you know what they are doing. They don't tell you what's going on. They just play magic and they do interactions and triggers. They don't announce what they are doing and they just play the card and then tap their fingers waiting for you to do something. They try to force you to pick up the pace, most likely in a way to make mistakes. They give you a stare down, they make you they might even call a judge on you, maybe multiple times at a casual pre-release. The speed is someone who tries to make the game as fast as possible so you can make mistakes. This is a very typical tactic used. It's almost an intimidation tactic, but it's a little more elegant because they want you to move faster. 
Lastly, you have the dude who calls the judge every single time. Every FNM I've been to, there's been one guy who I don't know what their connection with the store or the judge is, but every single decision ends up favoring them because they are the loudest, they are the most abrasive, and they call the judge multiple times in one game. This type of player is not good and in my opinion makes the game a lot less fun. No one likes to have a judge called on them for basic stuff. Move on. Just move on. Um, so the judge caller is someone who even at the most basic level of magic calls a judge every single chance they have. Anyway, that is my list of six people that you will see at your local Magic the Gathering store. Let me know if I'm missing one. Leave it in the comment below. Bye, guys.